morning youtubers are good day again okay welcome again my subscribers okay we're gonna try to you know we have installed a lead fog lights on a car and we want to code it from allergen to lead lights so this is how we proceed all right uh did a bit of information online research and so far so good we're in the car and these are the fall codes Right here show that it's have a right fog light defective and front fog light left faulty. Okay. Uh, we're gonna change this coding from halogen to LED, so we just minimize that. And right now we read out the car NCD file, which are uh, listed here. And this is the file for the um. This is the file right here for the um. Uh, the FEM. This file ID right here is 794 and uh, main version is 018 and the subversion is 070 and the partial level is 003. We can go back here and take a check a look. We look at the SVT tree. Can read all that. Reading really with the SVT tree and then we write, go down, scroll down to FEM body right here. This is the ID of the file. This is called the control unit description model ID. So we make sure we have the right thing here. And this is what we have to have here. Highlighted. There it goes. 794-1870-033. And then we go back here. Editors and viewers. Go to FDL coding. And then we click right here, this ellipsis right here, to, to load the file right here. I already loaded it. And we, you go right here to look at these right here. This is what you changed in the FE, in the FEM body in order to turn it from allergen to lead lights. All right, these are they right here that I highlighted. So we're gonna check the first one, NSWL. All right, let us look at what these represent in Google. We can see call. K A L T U E B E R V A C H U N G V A L M U E B E R And uh, we're gonna K A L T U E B E L V A German. All right, this is really cold monitoring. And um, oh, wait, wait, wait. what do I need here? All right, I said cold monitoring, warm monitoring, and short circuit. Okay, so that is what that means right here. So we're gonna go right here. I said the first one here is set to niche active. For, first of all, you go right here. Let us go back. Let us go back here. This folder, that's one of them. And this is one as well. That is one and that is one right here. Okay. And these are the bottom one that we have to do as well. We're going to just close them up and show persons how we get to them right here. All right. So we go up to the top. And we um, scroll all the way up. Let us see which folder we open here. We we start at this folder right here. Um, this one right here. Three thousand EC hardware configuration. Okay. That is one we go in. Open that. You can minimize the functioning. Go here. All right, let me collapse everything just to make it easier. Collapse everything. All right, I collapse everything. So, you know, we can click here and we can go to, um, let us click this one here that says we copy that, replace it right there. What we really want then we can go up here now and we can make it easier to see which folder it we open. We open this one, 3061, that says LCE, LCI output channels, okay? That's it. Cool. Then we go down to LSW. Oh, where is it? NSW right here. Right here. We have this one to do one two three four and then we'll go down to right we go we do this one 
one, two, three, four. All these are gonna go in and edit, all right? So let us go to this one first, and we go right here. We're gonna edit this one, and then we code it to the model as FDL coding. So we go right here. Has gelatin, all right? This is the default values right here. And um, it shows that this one here, it says right here we should have it like this. This one, this line should be called, should be set to niche active. So let us look if it is that way. Yes, it's niche active, so we do not have to change this. Okay? And then we go to this one right here. All right? Then we go to Agilisling. Agis, as, as Agilisling. And then this one is set to niche active. So let us look at the instruction here. It said this one as well, set to niche active. It must be that way. And then we go down all the way to um, right key. This one would be... Um, we go down here, I just listen. This one set to active. And they says right here that crucialus set must set to niche active. Let us go here and see what it means. It means short circuit set to uh, not active. Okay. So we're going to change this one right here. That says uh, uh, not active. So we're going to right click, click edit, then we click. That's active, okay? And then we'll leave that as it is right there and um, we can click save. We save it, we wait. All right, finish save and then we'll go to the next one. This one, we have to go to NSW, light, light, the L mean left, Lead active. Gonna find that here, and this is this is it right here. Open that. We we'll go to adjust listen, and you can see that it says to uh, niche active. Then we click edit, and then we set it to um, active. And then we also save that. And we wait until that goes away. Then we scroll down now and then we go to this left right here. We open this, then we go back to the instructions right here and we follow it for um, for right. Niche active. Oh, we did right. Oh, sorry. We did right come first up here, the R right here. This one come first, the R. And we just did, we're going to do this one right now, um, left. The same thing really. So we go right here, I just listen, and it is set to um, niche active. So we, 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 that is correct right here. We must not change that. It's set right there as it is right there. And the other line right here for right, for left. Really and truly, it's, I, did the, I did the opposite way. So it's really left where it, we did right a little while ago. So niche active, want to make sure. Same thing here. Niche active, and then we go right here, make sure that um, the same thing, I just listen, and it's, this one is set to active. So remember, this one says L warm. So L warm niche active must be set to niche active. Okay, so we click this one and we click uh, niche active. Then we save that. All right, and then we go to the website again, and we look at key short circuit, niche active. This one, we're going to do this one. And this is it right here. Go to add this listen. And it said to, uh, let me make sure I look. Uh, it's three of them, the niche active. Niche me not. So we say that. All right, and then we go down to the other one here that says lead. NSW. 
that we're gonna make sure it's the same thing here nsw left left is otherwise in german called licht go right here and then we set this to axis because we change out the ball from allergen to lens all right and then we click yes and save it all right so we're going to make our final checks as pertaining to left the left light the left fog light it's all of these right here you have three niche active niche active on only one active led okay so we're going to make sure we check it right here so um we right here we have roughly active right there we save it and then right here we have short circuit niche active and then we have right here um we have this one here warm weather or warm whatever whatever, whatever. we can go back to here and look and take a look at what it is saying here cold monitoring and warm monitoring okay Cold monitoring, warm monitoring, set to niche active. And this is it right here, niche active. And then this one, niche active, right here. Cold monitoring and warm monitoring, okay? Then we go up to the top again and we make sure we check about the right side of things now. Remember, the lead right here, this is its default value that we change to active. And we make sure we go back here and we check it right here. Right, see that? So it is set right here to this. See that? Under this folder right here. It's set to that active and then we go back to this one here that says short circuit this one must be set to um uh niche active so let us go over there and make sure it is the same thing this is it right here all right cool then we go to this one here and we go to this one it said um we can go back to that it said cold monitoring warm monitoring okay so we go to this one, warm monitoring, niche active. All right, as you can see here, warm monitoring, niche active. And then we go up to the top, cold monitoring right here. And then we go right here, see that's niche active, see that? So we save everything. So what we do now, we go back to um, expert mode, go to coding, and then we, um, we click here. And then we should be able to read up. Oh, I did. I did this one, right? I recoding data code. If I can't click this, it should be code FDL. Oh, I read out the. Co oh yeah. Um. Whoa. I wanted to um. What am I what am I missing here? I did this is a coding, right? Coding FDL. Oh man, I have to do it over again. Shit. Alright, read coding data. Read it. Alright, I guess I'll be from this side. Right here. This is ID we're looking for. 790. Main version, blah blah blah. Sorry, I have to do this over again. And then I go right here. Then I click that, then we do edit FDL. All right, um, I'm gonna go back here, editors and viewers, and see if, oh, he said, would you like to reload it in the module? Oh, no. Gosh, man, it, 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 it takes away what I did, shit. You know, it takes away what I did here. So let me go back here and see. Let me look again. Let me let me let me, let me see what I did here. Um, just want to make sure that I I have this thing right. Niche active. Let me go down to lead. Active. Yeah, it stay the same way. So what I'm gonna do now? Let me go back here. Expert mode. Coding. Let me call it FDL now. Cool. We're co we are sending the command to code FDL because I make an edit of that file and it asks me to reload it. So I click no because I already have that file loaded. 
unedited. So I just basically um to get code if they'll activate it, re uh, read out the CFD file in the module. And then what I save will override that. So all I gotta do is just click code if they'll and it's done. Alright, it's finished. So um it's finished. So let me keep a copy of this blog here. I don't know, I keep it for a reason. Control A, I like Control C copy. Let me see if I can open up my Notepad plus plus here now. Yeah, Alright, uh, let me see. Code FDL. Uh, um, Alright, now FEM body. CFD code FDL for fog fog light lead. All right, I'm gonna ask Drian now if this thing works. Let me close this. All right, he said no errors here in it, no big deal. All right, so I want to read out the coding data again. I'm going to read out the coding data again and I'm going to um, see if it goes properly. All right, there's zero errors in it. So we're going to go over here and um, we want to load this file over again in editors and viewer. We'll go over here. All right, let me see if it changed anything. I'm going to go back there and check again. It will right here be niche active. Right here will be um, one more one monitoring. This should be set to niche active. Oh shit! It screwed me. It turns on, but this it should be niche active right here. It read out the coding data. It's not done properly. Wow. All right. I'm gonna put this to niche active now. I'm gonna put it to niche active. And I'm gonna go right here. Three of them. This one. Cold monitoring niche active, warm monitoring niche active, and then short circuit uh, adjacent right here, uh, niche active. All right, let me go right here and then we go right here. This one should be set adjacent to active. All right, cool. Then we save this and we wait. It didn't take effect, so I know, because when I read back over the same file from the car, it, it, it didn't show the values changed, you know, so let us wait. It's going to give it a 30 second a minute to do stuff here. All right, it's finished. So we're going to do scroll down now to, we just did right, as you can see. Oh, wait a minute, what we just did here. I just did, yes, I just did left. This is no uh, right. So we do the same thing here. Go to this one. And um, we go right here. Oh, niche active. Sorry, that one did have to just call monitoring. This is warm monitoring. Let's make sure that this one here is set to um, uh, niche active. Now, this process takes a little bit of time. This is short circuit right here. Uh, short circuit will be set to um, niche active. Uh, all right, cool. And then we go to LED right here. Then we set this one to um, to active. And then it's done. It's stable right here. And then we we'll go back right here to expert mode. Then we we'll go back here to coding. And then we code FDL right now. All right. We code FDL now. Code function data list. We have to click right here the CAF default to do code uh, to do all right to code function data list whenever you make changes, you have to highlight right here in blue CAF file right here and so on. But when you're gonna write the coding file directly to the module, you have to bring up you know click FEM body itself. Alright, so 
Um, well, it's the same result. Let me close that. All right. I do not know if the same thing is going to be read out by uh, my, uh, but nevertheless. Let me ask him. Let me ask him if it, if it, if it works. Hey, John. 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 Yeah, man. What's going on? You hear me now? Yeah, man. I hear you. All right. Can you test the features and see if it works? See if the file code go away. Alright, so lights on, spot lights on, no message. Okay, so the message is gone, right? Yep. Alright, check the fog lights if they are on steadily. They're on, they're on. Okay, so it's done properly. Okay, I did it properly. Very good. So you're satisfied now? Can go back in and see if the files appear. Yeah, man, we can we can go back in and see if it disappears now. All right, no problem, my brother. Let me see if we can uh, minimize this. Let me um release this one. And then we do that, and then we go back here. But first of all, let me close out this because it's gonna take a long time to do another vehicle. Uh, let me close out that session. It's gonna take a long time. If I connect back to the icon using this stuff, the connection manager, it's gonna take a long time to do to go through a vehicle test. So let me close it and start over fresh and new. We're going to reuse this and read out the car regulator and then hopefully we can delete file code. And so on. The file code has to be deleted for it, you know what I mean? And then me across the light will um work and then there will be even no more message. So it should work because I changed up the FDL exactly to what those guys say to do on um the forum so it, it, it partially works so yeah I'm not, I'm not getting any warning in the i drive that sounds for real but yeah man i just i don't understand why the light is sticking now because it's stopped yeah all right now this we're going to do the fall code now we're going to click on the fall code list i'm going to delete from memory now and um Oh, four left. Wow, the FEM file code gone. Okay. All right. So this one gone. So let us look. All right. So you have to sort those out, right? Yeah. All right. The coolant pump and the oil service. That is one two and the earmark stuff. We know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what? The fog light steady now? Steady now, but it is steady early until it starts flicker. So you have to go and watch it, but. Now, man, it's gone. No, it's not going to flicker again. Why? Right, because you didn't fall? Yeah. Because it's sure. The, the, FEM, the, FEM, the FEM have no fall code in it. You see that? The FEM is green. No, it's a uh, flicker, Papa. Oh, well. I don't know. I don't know if that has to flicker. I don't know what other command I have to turn on and off. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can, I don't know if you want to try to start the car and see if it, you know, run. I don't know. I don't know what else, to, I do not know what else to code on that car. You know what I mean? I do not know what else to turn on and off. You know? Yeah. So the check, so the error, the error code gone in the CID or the cluster? Yeah, man. Yeah. 
Okay then. All right, no big deal, bro. Um, no big deal. All right, so. All right, so what else? What, what else you want me to do for you, other than update the laptop? <laughs> it's still a flicker. Yeah, there's no fault for it. Yeah, that may have to be Africa. Maybe there's some kind of a coding that we have. Maybe there's a, yeah, I think I was reading something online about it. I have to look it up and we can get back on that car tomorrow and so on, you know. And I think there's some kind of, maybe there's an niche active for the flickering to stop. So I guess it's all features that has to be set to niche active, you know. Tomorrow, man, I'm going to look up some stuff. For, for it to see if like we can get get rid of the flickering, okay? Alright, you want to start now or tomorrow? No man, we're not running money man. Me, me update the computer tomorrow man and then you can start out. I mean just let me let me let me see if I can transfer the download file. Let me see if you can download um just keep your machine on, okay? Alright. Keep your laptop. Let me see if I let me see how many how many space left on your machine here. All right, 261. All right, no big deal. Let me see if the old files is on this. Oh, no. All right, they don't, they don't, they don't see no downloads. The updates, I'm going to take up more space again. Yeah, you got to got more space, but the one terabyte, we're going to delete the whole system off of it, you know what I mean? So that can't, the one terabyte can keep the files that is going to come, you know, because we're going to delete those off of it, you know what I mean? Okay, you mean the whole files? Yeah, those are going to be deleted off, and the new, the, the one with the latest updates are added on there, so we're going to have enough space right now, okay? Okay, alright. You do not worry about that part, that part will be taken care of, I will just see if I can download, uh, I don't know, did I download bits? No, I didn't. All right, brother. Um, I'm gonna take care of it, okay? All right, bro. Let Just... me know if you find anything for the flicker in here, please. Yes, Thank yes, you. yes, yes. Okay. Cool. All right, brother. Yeah, man. Bless up. Yes, 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 Dra. Bless up. Bye, Okay. Okay, YouTubers. We have just coded uh fog lead fog lights in and turn off the allergens that come default with the car's vehicle order. So hopefully, we know the session is kind of long. But the lights sometimes they're steady and they flicker now. So I'm gonna see if there's online if anyone has um any uh any experience or someone have done turning off the flickering. I wanna find out which one of the folders we go inside of the FEM body to actually turn off or make niche active the flickering of the LED lights. Okay. So until you hear from me again, this is BMW programming and encoding channel. I am out.